Okay, so you could even use a regular weapon. All right, there was no point to this. Any mace, warhammer, or battle axe can do as long as it's on the appropriate podium. So just place each one where they go. If you get it wrong, it's fine. Nothing's going to happen to you. There's going to be timestamps, but basically you just want the secret wall right on the right of the ceremonial podium to open. So you could get the Dawnmaster's Crest to prevent the trap later on. So you wish to obtain the blood of Lathander, one of the most holiest maces in all of the coast. Well, I'm here to tell you how you can obtain this shiny gold mace. And all you got to do is uh, go to the Gith Yankee crush that uh, Lazelle's been pushing you to since the beginning of the game, since you've met her. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, that's the first tip. Don't forget to loot that pouch over there. But from where you met up, where you had the little uh, meeting with the Gif Yankee and everything went okay, we're going to head in this direction. This will take you through the mountain pass entrance towards the Gif Yankee crush. This box is going to come up. You're about to progress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. So, we were very quiet there, but you gotta pass the strength test, and then the cable car will come, and you can just take the cable car across. Alright, we made it, we've got off, and we're off. There's gonna be some stuff for you to pick up here. Uh, you don't, yeah, you can just take the good stuff, you don't even need everything. But, like a silver amulet, you can sell that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that gold. I'll take all, I'll take all the gold. Like, why would you... Why would I leave any gold? Who doesn't love a potion of greater healing, you know? Normally, I'd read it, but listen, we got, we got things to do. We're out here. We're looking for this, this really good mace. So, below, from below the elevator where you come, there's going to be a fast travel point. Right here, where I'm pointing, ancient sigil, sigil circle. And now, we fast forward. If you open your map, this is where you are, and this is where it says you gotta go. He's supposed to pass out drunk before we got over there? But, uh, yeah, so there's gonna be a whole group of drunk A, um, kobolds, right? So, I'm gonna try to sneak on by myself. So, having defeated the kobolds, your next step is to head up the stairs here. Let's zoom out so you can see. Then, you're going to want to jump here. Climb on up. And we're going to do another jump right over here. Onto the roof. Wait for everybody. Um, there's a chest you could dig up here. Okay. Okay. So next, we go inside. We There's a wooden thing you break down. I did that already. Now you're going to want to jump across this path here. Through here is actually something you need. But we're not going to be able to go through here. Because this guy's like kind of, there's furniture in the way. But just remember that one. Just put a button in that one. Don't get excited about it. Because we could just go around. See this wall? This is the wall to get to this guy. So you need somebody with a blunt weapon, like a ha big hammer. Lazel has a big hammer. We're actually doing this a little bit out of order from the last time I did it. But it's still the same. You go inside. Okay, so... Because I forgot to resume, you didn't get to see it, but it was awesome. Like, it was like three turns. Uh, a nice big sneak attack attack from myself, and then a, followed by another sneak attack. And then Will finished it off with magic missiles. It was beautiful. Anyway, the whole point of this is to get the ceremonial battle axe. Okay, we gotta need that uh, 
for the quest, which I technically didn't start yet, but that doesn't matter. We're just getting the weapons. You can get them first. It doesn't matter what order as long as you get them. So let's make our way over to the next weapon. Okay, so now that we have the ceremonial battle axe, we're going to head down these stairs. Do a little jumping. Over here is going to be boarded up with wood. You can just go in. And then this door will open. You'll get 240 XP, I think. Because you made it to the next part. Go ahead and head down these stairs. This is the statue of Le 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 Lathander. And once you click here... And that officially starts the quest. Now that we have the quest officially, here's what's next. So if you want to go to the crash, it's down these stairs, but we're not doing that just yet. Before I forget, if you want like a shortcut, oh, we forgot to scroll a gust of wind. This is why you need to press L, I mean Alt, or whatever hotkey you have, because Alt, it lets this, the thing stick out. I have a, 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 a mod that once I press Alt, it just holds it when I need it to. Because it's annoying to hold. And it goes away after a while. And this will shortcut you. This will get you to shortcut to the outside. So now it's time for us to go find uh, these uh, weapons. So after you hit the switch to make a little shortcut. I mean, if you want. You don't need it if you don't want it. Um, it's fine. Some people don't like shortcuts. Just head back where you came. Um, we, we kind of passed it, but you know what? It's fine. Through this door that you came through before. You just go up the steps instead. And there's the rusty mace. So we have the battle axe, the rusty mace. For the war hammer, we're going to head over and see if we could get this bird to just, like, not attack us. Because it's in a giant eagle's nest. And in order to get to that eagle's nest, just follow here. There we go. So you climb up. I knew there were knotted roots somewhere. So you climb up these here knotted roots. This should put you on the roof. Right behind the eagle. Alright, so just so we see where it is. There's the warhammer. Hopefully we can just grab it. You should just let us have it, right? Or not. All right, we're going to have to fight. I knew I should have just attacked him. Oh, well. We have the Warhammer. Now, this thing... This is a whole different thing entirely. So, we'll play with this in a second. This is a different walkthrough thing. Maybe we'll put it at the end, show you what it does. But for now, let us go place the sacred objects upon the whatever. So, we'll just go back the way they came because it's easier. And then we'll leave a short rest, because I don't think I have to fight. This is the easy part, alright? So, we're going to just go into this room. Now, what you have to do is put the weapons on the appropriate pedestal. If you get it wrong, it's okay. It's not a big deal. So, I think I remember it. So, first you got to put... Maybe it's the mace first? It'll light up if it works, I think. Looks like any regular weapons I have work here too. Okay, so you could even use a regular weapon. Alright, there was no point to this. Okay, so it's not that one. See, that's what happens when you get it wrong. It'll throw it back at you, so the axe will go here. And see that? There's an old key right on the bench there. Uh, so, obviously, it's going to be the one that got shot right back at us. Okay. Now, bear in mind all the stuff that's lit up.
And now, voila. So you see the wall came up here. You get the pouch. And there it is. This is the Dawn Master's Crest. You need this to obtain the weapon. And your journal will upstate, update like so. So, from here, where do we go? So now we must return to the statue of Lathander. Let's be lazy. And by lazy, I mean we're going to go back to that point here. This is probably going to take longer. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and if you notice your weapons... They have, like, this glow on them. This is from putting on the artifacts, which is pretty neat. It's a cool buff. It gets you an additional 1 to 4 radiant damage, which is going to be helpful, especially with the battles to come. So here's the statue. We're going to quick save here. Because you want a quick save before you do anything that you think might be important or whatever. So behind the statue, right? See how there's like a monastery basement? That's where we're going to go. So you just click on it and they'll go there. All right. You know what? It might be nice to act like a gangster with intimidation. Stand aside or crumble in combat. Oh, I'm not going to pass this. Oh, man. One more. Come on. I need these. All right, one more, one more. Damn it. Okay, so after you patch the speech check with the uh, lovely Githyanki people here, um, if you want, if you have, like, the Mask of the Shapeshifter, which I should have had on for when I was speaking to her, you can, like, change into a Githyanki yourself, and they'll, they'll be nicer to you. You know, they're from another world. They don't know our customs, so they really, they kind of don't like us out here. The filth of these people. Unbelievable. I know, right? This played squalor is indeed a constant source of discomfort. I don't know how you stand it. Istics smell like pigs and die twice as loudly. Ugh. I know, right? I can't stand any of those Istics. They suck. What do you got? <laughs> of course, you could talk to people and things, but this is not like a Githyanki city walkthrough. Here is the sigil. We could teleport. And there's a vendor in here. The thing I wanted to point out here, the reason I came here, is twofold. One. Blood, rust, scar. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? These gloves of dexterity? Check it out. Set the wearer's dexterity score to 18. The enchantment has no effect if their dex score is higher without it. Attack plus one. Now, my dexterity is definitely above 18, but you have other characters that aren't, and this is useful, so I'm gonna grab those. What's this knife of the underbout? Oh my goodness. 8 to 16 damage. 1d6. Oh my god, I don't even know. It won't let me autosave. It won't let me save. Something's broken. So we're going to do this quest without any saves. All right, for this next bit, I uh, basically just cut it out some stuff. So, you know, let people be surprised by the stuff in the game. Just say whatever you need to do to get past here. Either, you know, violence, non-violence, but uh, you just get past it. Okay, so now she's going to open the way for us. Look at that. She's so intimidated by me, she'd rather walk on top of a table than walk past me. Yeah, I'll show you. Alright, so. This is important. As you can see, the autosave failed, so I'm on my own. Let me check up here if there was a way in here. 
All right, so yeah, you could loot that chest if you want. I'll do it just to see what's in here. Some gold and, like, whatever. All right, so let's go head into the room. Now, I'm not positive, but I think I have to fight them first. I don't know if I can just go and open the, do the thing. So, let's see. All right, so these are the statues that you have to manipulate, right? So, what you do is, so you want the left, one to be facing the front or the right or whatever the sun but the statue starts to rotate but its rusty mechanism jams I think Lazel's going to have to do it cuz I'm not strong enough now one statue faces front the other one faces the back now this one's stuck so if you don't pass the strength check you can just hit it with your weapon Uh, it's got to face the other side. There you go. And then... There's the room behind here. So now there's a puzzle. I wonder if I have to, like, destroy the crystal. All right, so that's the energy source. Now, as you can see there, we got to sneak past. See that the light expunge expanding from that is going to try to stop you. So I didn't want to do that. So you want to disarm it from here. I, I don't know why I did that, but okay. I'm going to regret having wasted that uh, short rest, but whatever. So you go around. Now that I remember, you got to shoot the crystal out. That's in front of you. Why, why are you doing that? Can I just hit it with my sword if I'm standing in front of it? Okay, so we disarmed it this time. It didn't die. Next, you want to shoot the crystal that's under it. Because that doesn't work. Death won't take me near. And you threw this part. You know, I remember this being longer the first time I did it. Cool, now everybody levels up, except for Shadowheart. There it is, boys and girls. Take the base anyway. What's the worst that could happen? What? This didn't happen the last time? Uh oh. Okay, I swear this did not happen before. Oh no. What the hell did I do wrong? Everything is in motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. All right. Oh, that's right. I didn't put the item in. That's what happened. Oops. It's all right. Don't worry. I got it. That was a close one. I almost destroyed this entire place. Oh. Oh. So I was wondering what that was about. 
I found the magic weapon. Man, that is a booby trap if I've ever seen one. Holy shnikes. Wow. Okay, so there you go. That's how you get the blood of Lathander. And, uh, yeah, I guess I could have blown everybody up had I wanted to, but that was not the plan. Uh, close, but no cigar. That's it for this one. Hopefully it was helpful for to you. Uh, yeah, helpful to you. We both learned something new, and I thought that was pretty cool. If you like this uh, video, give it a like. If it helped you out or whatever, and feel free to share it along. Bye.